What's going on my friends? Today I've got a glute building workout for you. This is a descending reps workout and it's gonna be really fun. It's a really interesting way to train and I've kind of gotten obsessed with it when it comes to training glutes. So I hope you guys like it too. So instead of going down, or sorry, up in weight, down in reps, I'm gonna keep the same weight the whole time because we're at home, we don't have that many heavy dumbbells. So I'm gonna keep it the same weight, I'm using 20 pounds and I'm going to intensify the rep. So we are gonna go from maybe regular reps, we'll do 15 reps, and then we'll go to a little more intense version of it, and then a really intense version of it. So we're gonna go 15, 10, five reps. But that five rep is usually gonna involve some kind of pulse or one and a half rep or something crazy, but we'll talk about that when we get there. Don't worry about it now. All you need, dumbbells, and a bench or a couch, chair, something to put your back against because we cannot work the glutes without doing some hip thrust variations and some Bulgarian split squats. All right, guys, let's build our dump trucks. All right, before we jump into the actual workout, I'm gonna make sure we are mobile, loose, and warm. So let's start with a body weight squat. So just come down, push your arms forward, Make sure those knees are not collapsing inward, that they're in line with second and third toes, and come back up, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Really squeeze, down and up. So we're not warm yet, so my squat is not very deep. Down and up. As I feel more and more warm, I'm gonna get deeper into this squat. Again, down and up. I feel my hips loosening up. I feel my quads warming up. Don't worry, we're gonna get the glutes fired up in our first circuit. If you're feeling it, get down as low as you can now without the knees falling in, without the back rounding. Good, let's go down and stay down. I'm gonna lift and lower. Lift and lower. We're gonna do a few more of these. <sighs> my hamstrings are a little sore from my workout the other day. Hopefully they don't take over in this workout. Good, drop your booty down, stay here. If you've got your deep squat and it feels good, go ahead and add a rotation here. If you do not have your deep squat and it doesn't feel good, hang onto a couch, something where you can lean back into it and just work on that deep squat. But otherwise, we are twisting with a big exhale. Good, now lift your booty up, roll all the way up, shoulders back and down. Good, let's open and close. Open the hips and close. Other side again, big open. Big close, open, close. We're gonna do two more on each side. Open, close, last one on the right. Last one on the left, good. Go ahead, step the feet wide, turn the toes out. Let one shoulder fall in and then the other. We're trying to decompress that low back get everything nice and loose before we annihilate the glutes. <laughs> We've got five exercises to get through. That's it. <sighs> Good, now go ahead and just walk from one foot over to the other, up, down, across, again, down and across. <sighs> Again, got my finger stuck in my shoelace. Then meet me in center this time, hang for a sec. And then heel toe it together. Slowly roll yourself up to stand. Shoulders back and down, chest proud. We are ready to work out. All right guys, we are starting with more of an activation exercise. We're gonna do a donkey kick. We're gonna start with 15 full range. I'm gonna try not to rest between our sets here on this first circuit. So 15 full range into 10 half reps where I'm not gonna come all the way back down. And then we got five pulses. 
We're gonna progress through on one side first and then we'll go right to the other. And then our glutes will be warm and ready to work. So I'm coming all the way down onto my forearms here. And then I'm gonna make sure my back is an arch so engage the core, belly button in, and spine is nice and neutral. And I'm going to kick my heel to the back corner of the room. Hello, Franny, here we go. Up, squeeze the glute, back down, that's one. Here's two. I want you to think big exhale as you drive the heel. Three, watch the arch in the back. Four, mind-body connection. Five, and I'm bringing that knee all the way back in. Six, seven, inhale in, exhale out. Eight, nine, here's 10, we got five more. 11, your glutes should be awake. 12, 13, Here's 14, last one, 15. Now don't come all the way down. We got 10 here. One, about halfway. Two, glute is awake. Three, four, again watching that arch in the back. Five, six, seven, exhale up. Eight, inhale in nine here's ten stay at the top of that range baby pulse for one two three four and five hello Woo, glute okay same thing but on the other leg are you ready oh my gosh my right cheek here we go 15 full range all the way up one Inhale in, two, exhale out, three, watch the arch in the back, four, driving that heel, five, belly button in, six, seven, mind-body connection, right, eight, nine, you're over halfway, ten, you got five more, 11, 12, 13, last two, 14, all the way in, 15, half the rep, one, two, don't come all the way down, three, four, hello, five, I feel it, six, don't let your head drop down, seven, Eight. Oh my gosh. Nine. Here's ten. Hold at the top of that range. Pulse. One, two, three, four, and five. All the way in. Let it relax. Oh my gosh. Okay, glutes are awake and we're ready for a single leg hip thrust. So now you're going to need your bench and you're going to need a dumbbell. I'm going to use my 20 pounder for this. And if you have a leg that you know is weaker, you have a glute that you know is weaker, start with that so that can kind of set the pace for the other side. So I'm gonna start with my right because that's my weaker glute. I'm gonna come all the way down. I'm going to pop my dumbbell on my hip for the 15 reps. We are gonna take rest between these ones. So it'll be unlike the first circuit. So 15 full single leg hip thrust reps, I'm using my 20. So plant a leg, any leg, opposite leg up, and here we go, thrust up for one, all the way down. Two, you've got to scoop that pelvis. Three, four, make sure you're getting all the way up. Five, without arching that back. Exhale up, six, seven, Focus on control, eight, nine, here's 10, you got five more. You should feel it now, 11, 12, 13, 14, last one right here, 
15, down, let it relax. Oh my gosh, okay, punch it out if you need to. Same leg, gonna go for 10 reps. So instead of going up and wait, I'm going to add a hold at the top. So we're gonna hold for about three seconds. Okay, maybe two seconds. Depends on how fast I count. All right, decramp. Pop the dumbbell back up. <clears throat> Plant that right leg again, or whatever leg you're doing first. We're gonna hold it at the top for 10. Here we go. All the way up, hold. Down, that's one. Here's two, two, three, down. Three, two, three, whoo. Four, two, three. Halfway right here, five, two, three, six, two, three, <clears throat> seven, two, three. Oh my gosh. Eight, two, three, two more. Nine, two, three. Last one right here. Ten, two, three. Oh my gosh. Okay. Punch it out. We're all right. Same leg again. We're gonna do one and a half rep, one and a quarter rep. So I'm gonna go up and then I'm gonna give a little pulse. We only gotta do five. Holy smokes, my butt cheek. All right, guys, you ready? Oh, okay. That booty cramp is insane. All right, dumbbell up. I'm using the same dumbbell again because I'm a glutton for gluteal punishment. One and a quarter rep. Are you ready? Here we go. Up, pulse, one, down. Up, pulse, two. Up, pulse, three. Oh my gosh. Up, four. Last one, up, five, down. We're gonna go through this on the other side. Thank goodness. Oh my gosh. You guys, but after this, the circuit after this, I don't even want to think about it right now. Not going to talk about it yet. All right, 15 full on the opposite leg. Hopefully this isn't so bad because it's my stronger leg, my stronger glute. Here we go up. One, two, three, four, five, six, exhale up, seven, watch the arch in the back, eight, nine, ten, we got five more, eleven, twelve, thirteen, last two, fourteen, last one, fifteen, down, let it relax. We've got the hold. Breathe here with me. <sighs> Holy smokes. All right, are you ready for the hold? <sighs> you ever thought you could be so out of breath from doing hip thrusts, man? <sighs> my heart rate's up, my breathing rate's up. All right, and the dumbbells up. We got the two second, three second hold. 10 reps, are you ready? Here we go, all the way up. Two, three, down. Two, two, three, down. Three, two, three. Four, two, three. Halfway, five, two, three. Six, two, three, oh my gosh. Seven, two, three. Eight, two, three, whose idea was this? Nine, two, three, one more. 10, two, three, down, oh my gosh. Wow, this was more than I bargained for, way more. Okay, we've got 
the one and a quarter rep. And then we get to move on. We don't have any more thrusts. But we do have Bulgarian split squat. Uh, okay. Put it back up. If you need to hit pause, you can. <sighs> up five reps. One and a quarter. Ready? <laughs> Here we go. Up and pulse. One. Up. <sighs> Pulse two, up, pulse three, up, pulse four, last one, up, pulse five, down. Oh my gosh, keep your bench or couch available because we're gonna be putting our foot up on it in this next round. So allow your booty to decramp and then get yourself set up for those Bulgarian split squats. I'm going to Go body weight for the first variation. I'm actually going to roll up my yoga mat so I can use it to support my foot. Otherwise, my foot totally cramps up on me. So I'm gonna roll it up and put it on my bench so I can rest my foot on it so my toes are fo facing down. Just like this. I'm gonna turn this so y'all can see me. First round. I'm gonna do with my right leg forward, left leg up, 15, constant tension, Bulgarian split squats, okay? So you got your back foot up, my right foot's forward, my left foot's back, doesn't matter whatever side you wanna start on, this is my weaker side. And I'm gonna find my position, hinge myself forward so I can feel this in my glute. We go for 15, constant tension, I'm never gonna come all the way up out of this. Are you ready? Here we go. Down and up for one, two, three, four, five. We got 10 more. Six, seven, eight, nine. Don't let the knee fall in. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, go ahead and shake it out. I'm gonna use one 20 pound dumbbell for a just a regular full set of 10 reps. All the way down, all the way up, same leg. I'm out of breath, guys. All right, grabbing the dumbbell. I like to hold it in the opposite hand of the leg that's forward. Hinge it forward, guys. We can focus on the glute. Drop it down, full range. Down, one. Down, two. Down, three. Four. Five. You're halfway. Six. Seven, don't let the knee fall in. Eight. Nine. Last one. Ten. Up. Relax. Breathe. We've got another set. <clears throat> Five reps. I'm going to go, I'm so sorry, for one and a quarter rep. Similar to what we did. Um, in that hip thrust. But instead of pulsing at the top of the range, we're gonna pulse down at the bottom. So it go down, up, down, all the way up. But only five reps. You see how out of breath I am? All right, same legs forward. I'm gonna use the same weight because why not? All right, guys, hinge it forward. Five reps here. Down, up, down, one. Down, up, down, two. Down, up, down, three. How's it going? Down, up, down, four. Last one. Down, up, down, five. Who is in charge today? Wow. Why? Breathe. We are gonna do that whole progression now with the opposite leg forward. 
give yourself a second because the leg that's back and behind is also working a little bit, right? Feel the hip and the quad a little. So just give it a second to shake out. I'm gonna go body weight, 15, constant tension. Are we ready? You can breathe now. All right, find your stance, back foot up, toe down, preferably hinge forward. Knee doesn't collapse in, 15, constant. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. This is my stronger side. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Thank goodness I got the other side out of the way. Okay. We've got the full rep with the weight. Alrighty. I'm sweating like a crazy runner. Okay. Find that stance. Get yourself situated. We go down and up all the way. Here we go. Down. One. Down. Two, don't let the knee fall in. Three. Four. Five, remember that hinge forward. Six. Seven. Eight. Last two. Nine. Last one. Ten. All right. We've got the pulse at the bottom, breathe. Lucky for us, our next circuit is actually just a squat variation so we don't have to do both sides. So it'll go by fast. All right, five reps. Same thing that we did before. We go down, up, down, all the way up. Here we go. Down, up, down, one. Down, up, down, two. Down, up, down, three, two more. Down, up, down, four. Down, up, down, five. Hello, booty, okay. Good news, you can get rid of your bench. And we're moving into some sumo squats. All right guys, so this is the last of the heavy lifting and it's only a squat, so we don't have to do one side then the other, like I said earlier, so go big if you can. I'm gonna use two 20s for this. It's a sumo squat variation. So, our first set are 15 reps. I'm gonna step the feet wide. As long as those knees aren't collapsing in, I want them tracking in line with the second and third toes. So you're gonna push those knees out, essentially, right? Pickle jars under those feet. Try to open a couple jars. We're gonna go constant tension. So I'm gonna only come up to about here. Down, up. Constant tension on the glutes. And the quads a little too, but if you hinge over, <clears throat> it's mostly glutes. 15 reps there, are you ready? This is the good stuff, guys. All right, down, grab your dumbbells, and here we go. Up, one, two, get as low as you can, three, with good form, four, five, six, seven, hello, eight, nine, 10, we got five more, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15, set them down. Woo, okay, recover. Our next set, we've got 10 reps, 
of just a regular full range sumo squat. So knees track in line, second and third toe. Nice wide stance, hinge yourself over, down and up. So you can hold the dumbbells like we just did, but I'm going to pop them up onto my shoulders to make it a little more intense. Are you guys ready? <sighs> Grabbing the dumbbells. <sighs> Are you ready? No, me neither, let's go. All the way down and up, one. Hinge it over, two, so you can focus on the glutes. <sighs> Three, <sighs> four, don't let the knees cave in. Five, <sighs> six, Seven, eight, nine, I'm losing it, and 10. All right, we're gonna go for one and a half reps. So we go all the way down, up, down, constant tension type, and then all the way up. I'm gonna do this with the dumbbells hanging down like I did in the first round of this. Whew, my legs are shaking, guys. All right, you ready? Two dumbbells for me again. Whew. Grab them. Here we go, it's just a pulse at the bottom. Here we go. Down, up, down, all the way up. One, down, up, down, two, down, up, down, three, down, up, down, four, one more, down, up, down, ah, five. Oh. Set your dumbbells down. We're gonna burn it out with a side-lying abduction for good measure. So we're coming all the way down. Lay on your side. I've got an ant problem happening right here, so wish me luck. All of a sudden, they all came out. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is take my top leg, doesn't matter which side you're doing, because we're just gonna power through this on one side, then the other, but we are not going to rest. So very similar like we did in that first donkey kick circuit. We're gonna just keep going. So we've got Ten, uh, sorry, 15 full range side lying abductions, right? That side lift. And then we're gonna go half the range for 10. So I mean, we're not gonna bring the foot all the way down. And then we're just gonna pulse at the top of the range for five. Okay, Franny, God, needy much? Okay, lay down, there you go, do this with me. So I'm actually gonna roll over. So I'm almost kind of pointing my belly down, bugs. I'm gonna point my toe down here. And we're gonna go 415 full lifts. Here we go, lift the heel up and down. That's one, two, three. Franny's being adorable. Four, a little distraction for you. Five, you got 10 more. Six, lifting with intention. Seven, pull the belly button in. Eight, exhale as you bring it up. Nine. 10, five more, 11, 12, 13, 14, one more, 15, we go half the rep. One, two, so don't bring the toe all the way down. Three, feel it now. Four, oh my God. Five, six, seven, eight, Nine, 10, stay up, just pulse one, two, three, four, five, ouch. All right, to the other side. And then you are done with this glute torture of a workout all the way down. Let's move Fran this way. Come here, Fran, come here, come over here. Point the toe down, come here. Point the toe down, roll over if you need to, and here 
we go lift for a full 15 one two point the toe down three four i know franny's got us muffled here five six working on that shelf seven eight set a drink on this butt after this 10 11 12 13 14 last one 15 we go half the rep one two three don't come all the way down four five six oh my gosh seven eight nine ten stay up pulse one two three four five let it relax oh my gosh all right guys go ahead and stay down and let's stretch it out i'm going to start by rolling all the way onto my back here oh my gosh and i'm going to bring one leg up and over like a figure four reach through and just decramp that glute oh my gosh the burn is so real i am shaking how do you guys do you know make sure you feed those gains after this so go eat something carbohydrate protein please <sighs> Nice, all right, go ahead and switch. Oh my gosh, switch sides for me. Bring in the opposite leg up and over, stretch through that glute. Breathe. We're gonna mobilize those hips a little, just a second. I hope you're proud of yourself for having completed this workout. If, uh, if you wouldn't mind, I would love to hear um, what weights you guys use. So in the comments below, let me know what weight dumbbells you use. It took me a long time to work up to surviving a workout like this with 20 pounds. So I'm curious to see where we're all at in our strength journey. Okay, bring yourself into a 90-90 here. And I'm just going to hang out and then roll to the other side. Hang out and roll again. Just trying to loosen up the hips, a little stretch through the glute. Other side. Good. Again, let's go one more, one more time on each side. And again. Beautiful. And now I'm gonna bring myself into a downward dog just so I can kind of pedal out the back of the legs. <sighs> Even though my hammies were sore going into this one. <sighs> and then shift it forward, get through those calves. <sighs> and then back up again, hammies and shift calves. And then go ahead and bring one leg up and under for a pigeon stretch. Relax into it if you can. And just breathe here. I'm sweating. My bangs are like curling up on me. Deep breaths. Little gratitude for your body having carried you through this workout and your mind, right? This was a mental workout as well. Good. Let's go ahead and switch sides. Opposite leg, up and under. <sighs> Relaxing into it if you can. You guys can feel free to add any other stretches <sighs> that you want. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. And if you enjoyed working out with me and you feel like doing an entire program with me, be sure to check out my site, tkfit.org for all those kinds of options. All right, guys, I love you. I am proud of you. Go eat something, drink some water, and I'll see you next time.